Hello, uh, Guy Peplow here again at Happy St Athens, and today I'm going to say something about one of our forthcoming exhibitions. It's a show by William Gillis called My Border Landscape. Uh, Gillis was born in 1898 in Harrington, died in 1973. was uh, incredibly important to the Scottish Gallery as well as being one of Scotland's foremost painters. Important to us because he had many, many exhibitions. We sold literally thousands, particularly of his watercolours, throughout his long, illustrious career in the first four decades. Um, we've titled it My Borders Landscape because, in a sense, we understand the landscape of the borders through Gillis's eyes. Uh, he was brought up in Harrington, uh, in East Lothian, and spent most of his, uh, his adult life in the village of Temple in Mid Lothian, uh, initially commuting into Edinburgh, um, where he was a senior tutor, and then head of drawing and painting, and ultimately principal before he, he retired. His studio in Temple, near Gorebridge, um, was two cottages knocked together uh, and uh, had a wonderful picture window looking out over the gardens with the sunshine coming in, which formed a popular subject for him. We have a wonderful example of an interior painting in watercolour um, and inside out, which is a typical motif of, of the Edinburgh School. Um, but Gillis was not a stay-at-home man. He, he loved to be out and about at his happiest, seeking out and finding uh, subjects in his, in his beloved Scottish borders. Not so much uh, Berkshire, although the Berkshire coast he did, he did paint at St Dad's and, and Coldingham, but it was more um, the Moorfoot Hills and the Border Hills uh, that, that drew him. Um, he had a lifelong love, as W. Gordon Smith said, of the, the love affair with the internal combustion engine and always had uh, a terrific uh, motor car and motorbikes. And um, many people, hundreds of people, would have seen him and perhaps turned their head, parked up in a lay-by with his uh, easel set up or his painting board on his knees, looking down over what might at first seem like an unpromising piece of landscape. Because Gillis was attracted to the more unusual views. Um, he would find a subject where others might not. What he loved were the high horizons, the field structures, the copses, the dry stone dikes, the sheepfolds. Uh, the rivers, sometimes quickening round a bend, sometimes lazy. Um, and this is the landscape of the borders and with which we associate him so strongly. The high horizon often topped with a dark sky, uh, the motif of the sky being a darker element than most, most of the landscape was, wasn't untypical. He would start work on the spot um, with pen or pencil, and indeed uh, many of his works on paper remained as essentially monochrome uh, drawings. Sometimes he called a monochrome wash. Uh, other times he would apply his watercolour tints. And his wonderful earth colours um, throughout the seasons are true to the day, true to the place. And again, I think distinguish him as, as one of the best colourists uh, in, in Scottish painting. His work has, I think because of his, his deep connection with the landscape, his work has this neo-romantic sensibility, which I think allies him with a lot of English painters of a similar generation, the Nashes and, and Pipers. Um, but um, as I say, taken together, his achievement in looking at the Scottish borders, some of the works that we have in our exhibition, like The House Through the Woods, uh, many other wonderful um, borders landscapes down by the Gala Water and, and so on. These together form a real achievement uh, in, in, in British painting, I believe, and form, I think, his greatest contribution as an artist someone who is much loved uh, and still happily much collected.